All right, it's not as good as it looks. Yeah, let's go up closer. The glossiness is nice, but when you get closer, you'll see it's actually kind of lumpy and stuff. So, ah, I've begun sanding. Oh, sanding. I have a bunch of old sandpaper that's partly used. So the resin's kind of sticky on the surface and it gums up the sandpaper. Yeah, like this. This is the sandpaper I used on the previous boat. I got really gummed up. That one's probably useless. But anyway, I'm going to use this garbagey sandpaper to get the, the sticky surface off and then carry on sanding after that. Oh, and then I gotta do that one. That sanded pretty well, good enough anyway. I only, I only went down to 80 grit sandpaper, and now I'm going to take one of these, which is a piece of scrap cloth wrapped up in a piece of soft cloth, dip it in resin and smear it on, and basically wipe it off. So just put a really thin film over the whole thing. It's a little bit tricky, it's easy to screw up, but uh, if I do it right, it leaves a real nice finish. I did that on my kayaks and they came out really nice on the bottom. So hopefully soon this pontoon will look like this one from here, but then up close it won't have all the, the bumps that one does. Well this started as a very neatly wrapped up piece of stuff. Uh, anyway, I got it all on there and it looks pretty good. Maybe go over it with a little bit of really fine sandpaper at the end. Although I don't even want to take out all the streaks because the streaks are going the right way so they help the water flow and not, you know, make eddy currents, right? I don't know. Oh, now it's looking good. Oh, if only that one was not bumpy. Yeah. I'll do it soon should be able to see in the camera. So this one has a little bit of streakiness on it still. Here's the one I haven't done yet. Much more streakiness. Lumps. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit of fine sandpaper on there and it'll be good.